Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up your VTX with Flight 1. If your VTX supports Tramp Telemetry or TBS Smart Audio, it should work fine with this. However, uh, we have noticed a lot of off-brand VTXs don't actually support those protocols, even though they claim they do. So if you want to know for sure it works, I recommend you either buy any TBS VTX or any Immersion VTX uh, because those seem to work flawlessly. And to be honest, they have the best power levels. They all come in flawlessly. They don't bleed over. So I really recommend you sticking with one of those instead of some non-name brand VTXs that are on the market. It, in my opinion, it's worth a little extra money and it works so flawlessly with Flight 1. I will gladly play an extra $5 or, or whatever it is. Uh, to know I have clean, perfect video. Because remember, the video is the one thing that impacts all the people around you. If you're going and freestyling with your friends, you could be blowing them out. Or if you're going you know, racing, it could be blowing them out or overlaying. And there's nothing more frustrating than someone else uh, taking out your video because they're using some other VTX that is not high quality. So the first thing you want to do is once you set up your VTX is you have... Uh, this screen. You want to make sure that your VTX device is selected and your ORT for the VTX is selected. You want to always wire to the TX pin for UZART 3, which is actually on the plug. So if you're just using the plugs, it's automatically going to be wired. Our boards come with the right cable to wire perfectly for the TBS VTX. If you're using that, that's all you need to do. Then you just go in here and make sure the VTX device is selected. You can see here I have Smart Audio chosen and use our 3 tx is chosen as well. Once I've done that, I'm going to use this VTX pit mode button. And what that does is decide rather your VTX is always powered up or it only powers up when you tell it to. I recommend, of course, powering it up when you tell it to because then you could be sitting out there and you could wait till it's time to go start racing and then you can turn it on automatically even with ARM. Or um, if you uh, you know want to plug in while your friends are flying, you know you can do that safely uh, and test your quad and everything, and it won't go on until you tell it. So I usually always attach this to the arm switch. I'm going to show you how to do that. You could always attach to it a separate button if you wanted. Uh, but again, I think this is the best way to do it. So the first thing you should do is click the VTX pit mode type button. Uh, here it's going to ask you to plug in a battery and make sure you've removed the props as always. Uh, so I'm plugging this battery. And now that I have the battery plugged in, you heard the tones, and I'm going to check the box. So once you check this box, you're going to pick which mode you want. I'm going to pick VTX pit mode after power cycle, which means it's always going to be turned off when you plug it in. I'm going to hit next, and if it's connected properly, it's going to work, and it's going to, it's going to say the VTX mode has been changed. If you get an error here, it, you know, make sure you have one of those compatible VTXs, make sure it's wired properly. Uh, but that's the first step in getting your VTX working. Once you've done that, we have a few options. We have a kill switch. So what this does is actually it disables your radio and it also changes the VTX channel to your kill channel. Uh, what's nice about this is you can actually flick a switch and completely disable your quad. If you're in some sort of team race and you crash, you can do that. Or you know, if you get stuck in a tree, you can do it. Uh, whatever so you're not actually broadcasting on the main channel so you can keep other people can keep flying and also so your vtx controls or your rx controls won't keep working so you can actually plug in a separate quad so on the kill band you want to pick a channel that you want to go to when you hit the switch i always pick a low band and like eight because that gets it way off the range that everyone's using so it's actually one of the best things to do because then you're just going to a different band uh the immersion i think we can actually power it down but the tbs we have no ability to power it down, so we do this instead to get it to a completely separate channel than everyone's using. You can also choose uh, the settings you want it to go to when you flick a switch. So in this case, I always want to go to race eight when I flick a switch and 25 milliwatts, so I'm gonna pick that here. I'm gonna make sure it's chosen race uh, eight and VTX power mode, 25 milliwatts. So once I'm done all that, I go ahead and hit save. And then, then I'm going to go to the setup page. When I get to the setup page, I'm going to go to the setup modes right here. And I'm going to actually set up mode switches um, for this. So what I like to do here, and I'm going to make sure I turn them all off. Just so you can see a clean setup. So ordinarily, you're just going to have an arm switch only selected here. 
So now I'm on the screen. All I have is the armed mode set up. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is tell my VTX to turn on every time I arm my quad. So I'm gonna go to the manual setup because that's the easiest place to do this. Uh, and you can see I'm on channel five and I have this selected for arm. So all I'm gonna do is go down to the VTX on choice, which is right here. And I'm gonna pick channel five and I'm going to go ahead and drag these sliders down to the same range. So you can see I match the two. They don't have to be exact, just approximate. You can see it's negative 70, it's negative 67, should be close enough. And I'm going to hit save. The next thing, so now every time I arm my quad, my video is going to come on, which is great. As soon as I hit the arm switch, the video comes on. Now I'm going to go back to the other screen and I'm going to set up a VTX channel switch so what this will do is every time i pick it it's going to actually go to the channel i want it to go to what's nice about this is i can do this and go to that channel and uh i know it's always on that channel and then i can go on the osd and pick a different channel if i want um if you have spectrum there's also a special menu you can go in and change the vtx uh as well uh just on the screen you can click it and, and check a channel but you can always do it through the osd this way as well so i'm going to pick I'm gonna show radio data just so I can pick the switch I wanna use. I'm gonna click my switches and see which one's set up. So this one's set up here, uh, auxiliary two. So I'm gonna use that one to go to the special channel. Um, so I click the switch, it says make sure it's in the off. And then when I click it down the other way. Now every time I hit the switch, you can see it's going to go to the channel. The next thing I'm going to do is do the VTX kill switch. Um, and I'm going to put that one on aux, aux 3. So I'm going to go to this kill switch menu and do the same thing. Now when I hit that, it is going to disable the quad and change my VTX channel. So it's that simple to set up your VTX. Now, whenever I want, I can always click the switch and go to the channel race 8. I can always kill it with this switch. And when I arm, my video is going to go on. Uh, you can change the setup to how you like it, but this is the easiest way to set up the VTX. So please like and subscribe. Please comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I missed anything. Go ahead and give me some comments on what videos you want to see next. And I will be sure and answer them all as well as, you know, feel free to hit me up directly or on the groups as well.